Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, we've already shuffled and um, we've already shuffled and cut the deck. Uh, we did have one card that flew out. So we have the Four of Pentacles here. Let's get into your reading, Aries. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the remaining of the month of April. 2020 in regards to your love and romance all right aries so your first card here is the four of pentacles so right at the center we have the four of swords uh this is indicative of some type of um either pulling away or no current communication in regards to your love and romance or the person of your interest now we do have the eight of wands um, which is indicative of very quick progressive energy that's coming through. Uh, you may be hearing from someone that perhaps there is currently no communication from. You are coming up in your own reading areas. You have the King of Wands here. Uh, so this is uh, signifying to me for this month or remaining of this month. I do see you guys very determined, very focused. Um, in regards to love and romance, you do have the Three of Pentacles here. So I feel that for some of you guys, you may be either not communicating currently with the person of your interest or your partner. Perhaps there was some type of pulling away. I feel that for uh, both of you on both spectrums, you guys have a lot of things going on. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a lot of like family type of energy um, as well as the partner or the person of your interest. I, I do see them like very, very much in their feelings. They are coming up as the king of cups doesn't necessarily mean that it's a water sign this is just the energy that they're taking on for the remaining of april i do see them very emotional but this is um emotional maturity i see them like i said very much into their emotions or their feelings perhaps there is worry perhaps there is like their primary focus has a lot to do with emotions but i do see again the family dynamic taking um taking major major uh part in this current situation now i know that we are currently going through a lot of difficult um a lot of difficult uh situations with this of the virus so i think that um that could be like their main concern at the present time making sure that their family and everyone is good um but i do have here the full the uh, I do have here the, the moon card with the high priestess. So these two cards are very intuitive type of energy. I do see them like you may be very intuitively like drawn to this person. Uh, there could be some type of mysterious um, allure about them that really has your interest. But at the same time, I do see you guys frustrated like you guys can't really read the person. It could be that you start to communicate and start to progress but then something always tends to happen where they kind of pull away and i do see you aries like extremely frustrated about the situation for some of you guys it could be that you yourself are currently dealing uh with a third party or another person um or putting your focus and energy towards someone else but I think that it has more to do with the fact that you're basically frustrated at this point. I see you guys extremely frustrated. I see you guys like you don't really see this this connection or this situation progressing. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with this person for a very long time. For some of you, it can also represent like having a connection with someone you know. It could be a friend. It could be someone around you. And you're like interested in them, but uh, you guys do communicate. And like I said, it could be a friend type of energy where you're wanting to take it to the next level. Um, but I do see them like, I think they're very spiritually inclined Aries. And I think that because of that, it could be almost like they see you as a friend or even try to give you advice and guide you um, because there may be some blockages that you've currently or perhaps in the past have been working through um for some of you guys it could have to do with like the attachment to the past or past experiences or past relationships or people from your past 
Um, for others of you, it could be just the drawn, um, the drawn, the draw on, um, what is it called? Like the going from one relationship to another. And it's like this person is very, like I said, very spiritually inclined, very intuitive. And it could be that they, yes, they are interested in you, but at the same time, they don't want to like, they don't want to do anything to mess up the friendship only because they could be potentially seeing you as a bit immature in the sense of when we're talking about emo emotional maturity because they are coming up as the king of cups. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a water energy, but th this symbolizes to me uh, the maturity of, of emotional uh, dealing. So this could be a person that perhaps in the past they've gone through a lot. Uh, this could be a person that perhaps has guided you through a lot of your relationships. So like I said, it could be like a friend type of energy. Uh, right at the center with the Four of Swords, I see them more um, like trying the best they can to detach themselves from the situation because like I said, for some it could be that you guys have had a long history of friendship. For others, it could be that they are very aware of like the people you've dated in the past or your experiences, or for some, it could even be like you've uh, really opened up or shared to them, and perhaps they see something in you that is probably not ready at this present point in time uh, for any type of like monogamous relationship. So like I said, I do see them very much trying to um, detach themselves from the situation. They do have a lot of things going on right now with family dynamic. So I think that's uh, has a lot to do with it. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long term committed relationship, I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with the paranoia that everyone else is experiencing, like worried about the family, uh, about the children, about your parents, that type of energy. And I do see some type of um, almost like a feeling of having very into like your intuition very on point. Or this could be like your partner that they're dealing with a lot of lucid dreams. Uh, lucid dreams are basically dreams that feel very much real that are very connected to the subconscious. So it could be like uh, having like pretty much their biggest fear, like manifesta manifesting it through dreams. So it's like they're extremely worried. It could be that or it could be that they're just, um, like I said, very intuitive or feeling uh even prophetic dream for some now let me see what the main energy here is what spirits uh, main message for you aries sun moon rising and venus in regards to love and romance all right your first card is family you see very much what we were talking about what was coming up in the reading family i feel that a lot of a lot of signs have been experiencing this, and it could be because of what we're currently going through. Um, but they're telling you here, family, loving your friends and family is central to your life's purpose. Uh, your second card here is environmentalist. You're an earth angel who has bo who was born to protect nature and teach about nature and the animals. And finally, energy healing. Your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life's purpose. So I think that this connection with the person that you're currently dealing with um, could be overall. I think that both of you guys may have a lot of healing to do. Um, if this person is extremely spiritual or is like a lot has a lot of energy of that of an empath, I feel that. Uh, they definitely do feel the connection between you and them, Aries, but I think that they could be a little bit guarded and when they feel like the connection becomes stronger or there's more constant communication, I feel that they backtrack. And the reason for that is because they're aware or fully aware that there needs to be some energy healing with you. Um, like I said, for those of you guys that are dealing with like a person that is in your friend's or like friend energy uh, is definitely difficult getting out of that, you know, that bubble basically, because a lot of the times relationships, if they don't work out, where do we go from here? Especially if it's like a genuine friendship. So I think that a lot of the healing that you're currently going through, and it could even be a test for you. Um, if this person is spiritually inclined, it could be a test in regards to 
uh, something that has to do with commitment for you, Aries, um, kind of like wanting to overcome or wanting to attain. And what spirit is telling you is, is it, is it just the desire to have and to hold what may become or seem like it's a, like a, a difficult for you because this person is not as easy to basically have them at the palm of your hand? Or is it because you genuinely, genuinely do feel a connection and it's worth waiting for? But how bad do you want it is basically what Spirit is telling you. You have to work through that healing that needs to happen with you as well as currently what is an overall energy of, like I said, having a bit of distraction in, in every single aspect of our lives because of what's happening, what's happening globally. So anyways, I hope that this gives you guys some insight a little bit of understanding, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.